Chris, you are so awesome. Of course, the unique and exciting travel trailers. We know all about the, the uh, fifth wheels that we were just talking about. Uh, fifth wheels. You made an interesting point. I love talking to this guy. This is Zach, by the way, Zach and Mary from uh, Country Outdoors. If you haven't seen their show, Zach, you're a very talented cameraman. You just proved that a few moments ago. Uh, you and I were outside. We wanted to test the temperature, see what it's like in sub-zero temperatures. Minus 17 is what it feels like on the outside. And I went out without a jacket. So now you're a little jealous of my hat right now, aren't you? Yeah, I'm originally from Georgia, and that's way too cold for me. So <laughs> that hat would have been perfect. And now I'm toasty warm because I got the Strike Master on, and we're going to talk <laughs> ice fishing on the weekend. We got a lot to get to. We're going to talk camouflage. And look at this uh, picture right here. This is what it's all about. This is a guy right here that lives the lifestyle. You guys have the fifth wheel. One of the unique things that you said about your fifth wheel was you use that back area as kind of a mudroom because you're the last minute uh Stock yeah. it up, guy. I mean, honestly, this fall, we probably only pulled an ATV once or twice. Most of the time, it was used as a mudroom. You just throw stuff in there with this generator, kayaks, and you don't have to worry about the floor. Yeah, yeah. and we saw the Fusion just a moment ago. We saw all these amazing fifth wheels that Chris was talking about. And you, the last thing you want to do when you're looking at the entertainment center, the beautiful kitchen, all that entertainment area, you don't want to walk in there with mud. You don't want to track all that red clay in there if you've been out hunting somewhere and doing something crazy. So yep. that's what that back room, that area when the toys aren't in there, can be used as a mud room. It makes perfect sense. Absolutely. Keeping me from getting yelled at by the wife. <laughs> Which is what <laughs> we all try to stop from. Now listen, we're going to go into another uh, unique area. These are the Ozark travel trailers, and we were just walking through some beautiful ones here in the showroom. Very unique, very exciting, and you and Mary, your wife had uh, had uh, your eye on one too, didn't you? Yes, we did. And if you see anything that you like, just text RV to 46642, and someone will talk to you about all the different options. They it's have. that simple. Chris is with Eric from Ozark. Take it away, guys. It is the Ultimate RV Show National Tour. What's up? It's Chris Young here with my buddy Eric Farver. Eric, Good to see you again, man. Yeah, haven't, great to see you, man. Haven't seen you since Tampa, brother. How's Thanks it for been? having me. Yeah, yeah, appreciate it. Absolutely. So Eric is from Forest River. He's our what, what I like to call the Ozark specialist. And before we actually get going into this segment, tell me what is Ozark? So Ozark today exists as a lightweight line of single axle travel trailers, mm -hmm. and then also a lightweight line of tandem axle floor plans or toy hauler floor plans. Right. Uh, really suited for, you know, the light duty truck market and the, the SUV, the SUV. SUV. Yeah, customer that's, there. That, and, and you know, you know, from the last show, I'm, I'm really excited about the Ozark line. It's one that you can only get at Gander RV and Outdoors and Camping World. And it's one that when Forest River came to us and said, hey, we want to make something special for you guys. We, we gave them what people wanted. They needed something for the light trucks. They needed something for the SUVs, but still floor plans that were similar or the same but opted for people who might be looking for something a little bit different, right? Yep. Uh, really, uh, our relationship revolves around taking full-size travel trailer features mm -hmm. and stuffing it, them into smaller bite-sized floor plans there uh, right. in the single axle line. See, and, and I love how you guys kind of, I love how you took that because it really opens up the options for people to choose something that's gonna be right for their lifestyle. And since they're all, I don't even like to call them entry level because they have so many amenities, but they they're really entry do. level priced RVs. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you don't need to upgrade your vehicle in right. order to get yourself an Ozark. Right. So today we're going to focus a little bit on those Ozarks. We're going to show you some of the toy haulers because to me, those are the most versatile floor plans. Now, the Forest River Ozark line has way many more floor plans than the Ozarks. And with the Ultimate RV Show National Tour, we have 80,000 factory fresh RVs. So if you see one of these that you like, or if you see, you know, hey, Chris, Eric, I need a bunk model. We got a brand new one coming that we're gonna talk oh, to you about a little super bit later. Excited. Yeah, I'm excited about this one too. Mm -hmm. So new, in fact, it's just now rolling off the line. And as we're speaking today, it's on its way here. But the great part about it is, if you think you want it, you wanna see it, Pictures are online, walkthroughs are already online. You can go ahead and reserve yours at the Ultimate RV Show pricing by just dropping us a comment down below, fresh or texting fresh to 46642. So we're gonna show you the 2700s. We got the TH and the THX. These are toy haulers, love the versatility, love the fact that if you need to bring in your ATVs, your kayaks, your golf carts, your side-by-sides, whatever, toy haulers are the way to go. Absolutely. But the versatility allows you to have a really good separation of space if you need additional sleeping arrangements or you just want entertainment space. Now, 
the 2700TH and the 2700THX, what's the big difference between the two before we get into them? The big difference, as we see here on the outside, one is a fiberglass exterior wall there mm -hmm. versus your aluminum exterior wall. And that's going to be the, the really main the difference. main difference. Yeah. Yep. So if, if you're the type that wants that aluminum sided, or if you're the type that wants the fiberglass sided, you got two extremely well built, mm -hmm. extremely well insulated. It's just your aesthetic preference. So keep that in mind as we make our way over to the 2700TH. Now this one, uh, roughly 5,700 pounds dry, uh, 32 feet, four inches long, and got a 38 gallon fresh tank and twin 30s, 30 gallon gray, 30 gallon black. Um, and check out this exterior. Now these are updated for 2021. You guys put that automotive coating on there too, right? To help with the fading? Yep, uh, that is what we call tough coating there. So oh. it is UV resistant and scratch resistant. Oh, right on. Yep. That really helps extend not only the life of the camper, uh, but it kind of extends the camping season too because it adds a little additional layer protection between the elements and the RV. So those little things are really what makes a difference. Now, this is a double axle. I see we got the 14 inch aluminum rims, nitro filled tires, mm -hmm. uh, Dexter Easy Lubes on there. Uh, and tell me a little bit about the underbelly. Uh, so the, the chassis here is built on an eight inch I-beam chassis, uh, really beefy for, for the segment. Right on, that's really sturdy. Single welded aluminum. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's, th they, they do that now because these, these frames have an automotive coating on it that really makes them more durable, more rugged. Uh, so you're able to, once again, extend the life of your camper. Just those little things that Forest River did with the Ozark that's gonna make it more of a better investment for you when you wanna go camping. Mm -hmm. Now, when we come into the back entrance here, because I wanted to start in the back, because with this one being a toy hauler, uh, this is a 2700 uh, TH, uh, this is really where the reconnection and the gathering takes place. Yes, it really is. Uh, so in the back end here, you'll see with the couch set up here, mm -hmm. you can use it as an eating dining space, yep. entertaining space, and at night, if you have guests or you know children that come with you, all of this folds down into either a king size bed mm -hmm. or depending on how well your kids, per se, get together, get well <laughs> yeah. together, uh, you can have double bunks in the back here as well. That's, you know, I like how you did that because not only does this table lightweight, it folds down, you can either strap it down back here or you can put it um, outside when you want to set up and have a table outside. Yeah. Uh, you got the versatility of entertaining. You can also take it on the party deck, which we're going to get to here in a minute. The table um, is great for party deck applications. Dude, there. I got to tell you, these, these cushions, you guys upgraded these for this year. This is a, it's a very extremely comfortable and plush cushion, not only for the back, which my, my, my kids, it's funny, I'll find them when they're back here watching TV, uh, cause, cause we took one of these out to the lake. Oh yeah. They will take this and just put it on the floor. One of them will lay up here, the other one will lay on the cushion in the middle, and this whole section over here will be empty. Yeah, the versatility and it's like, what are you of the doing? Yeah. Cushions there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> it just looked comfortable. But these are extremely comfortable. They're versatile. Uh, and like Eric said, you got the option of having double bunks or one big, large, king-size bed. That's why I love toy haulers. Versatility. The versatility. Mm. It gives me options. And we got some large panoramic windows here. So now we're in the beautiful northern Midwest. Mm -hmm. You got Minnesota. You got... Wisconsin, North and South Dakota. Some of the most beautiful countryside, some of the most beautiful state parks, uh, Roosevelt State Park, the Peace Gardens, the Dells, uh, the North Shore. There are so many great places that you can go and take your RV. And people say, well, those are kind of cold places. But we kind of got that covered too with the insulation. Tell me a little bit about the insulation that we have in this one. Yeah, so our especially on the fiberglass model with the fiberglass you know you'll you'll get a, a greater R value there right um, but yeah what what we see in here is is your traditional R7 uh, insulation really built around you know the three season camping mm -hmm. and it's that fiberglass that we have in our house yes yeah yep so uh, the, the big difference between aluminum and fiberglass is that insulation like Eric's talking about and what we're gonna show you once we get over to the THX uh, inside, you got foam core insulation in there, plus you got the Asdell walls as well in there, correct? 
Not true. Oh, not true. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Well, uh, now, what, what do we have inside the THX? Uh, it'll be the same insulation oh, okay. there. Yep. That's why uh, the weight is the same. You're right. Oh, okay. So, yeah. uh, the fiberglass acts as a better insulator, obviously, than aluminum. Aluminum. Right? Okay. Yep. You know, and, and, but for me, uh, if you ding up a panel on the aluminum, you can mm -hmm. just replace the panel. But if you ding yep. up fiberglass, you got to replace pretty much the whole sidewall. Yeah, uh, you can repair fiberglass there. Right. It is more durable surface, mm -hmm. so it wouldn't, you know, if you threw a baseball and your kid right. missed it and it hit an aluminum siding, <laughs> or it would I probably it. dent it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, with fiberglass, it wouldn't be that way. Right. Yep. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So I, it, it's also to me just goes down to personal aesthetic preference uh, for, for right. a lot of it. That's right, because I remember you mentioning you guys manufacture them the same way. That's a great idea to keep it that way because people still get, you still get really good insulation mm -hmm. and you get just an option. Exactly. An option. I love that. Yep. Speaking of the option. A little bit for everybody. Herringbone pattern on the floors. Oh, beautiful floors. In yes. There. Last year when you guys did this, I loved it because it continues all the way into the shower too, which we're going to get to here in a minute. Mm -hmm. um, but first, I'll tell you what, Fritz, we're going to swap with you. Let's go out here into the party deck. Now tell me about the, I, I know we got 1,500 pound D-ring tie downs in the garage yes sir and the space here this is this one the 2700 this is what uh so this is 11 foot, 11 foot four inches there from the uh back of the patio here up to that doorway there oh so you could easily get an atv in here oh definitely yeah. uh most two passenger side by sides would even fit in here as well right on and these walls right here so these these um let me show you this check this out these fold up Yep. And obviously you take the cushion out, but you'll see the legs fold in. This is your strap to lock these in. You just take the cushions out. Grab that one for me, Eric. Yes, sir. And check it out. This is how you get your space right here. Lock this in, and now you go from the entertainment space, and obviously you got it on the other side too. Fold the legs down, and look at the clearance room. This is obviously on the same side too, but look at the clearance room that you have for your toys. ATV, side by sides, can ams, dirt bikes, four wheelers, dirt bikes, kayaks. Yep. You know, whatever, because there's a great spot for canoeing just up the road here that I was like, oh, that sounds like uh, I'm a work cop. Match to made me. In That's what, here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I like how you guys also put the suspension netting on the storage shelves. A lot of times you just get an open shelf mm -hmm. bouncing around, you come back, helmets have fallen down, bags have fallen down. So right. having this, I thought was a really nice touch. Come back out to the beautiful patio deck. This is the hang spot, man. Yeah, I mean, talking about those national parks and whatnot. Yeah. This would be quite the place to, you know, enjoy your morning coffee as you watch the sunrise over yes. the mountains. Yes. Uh, beautiful. Now, have you ever fished off the back of a toy hauler? I have not, but I mean, yeah, you back this thing up. Now, obviously, this time of year, it'd be extremely difficult. <laughs> sure. Because you don't want to put this on a lake. No. <laughs> Although, with it being, you know, this one's only roughly 5,700 pounds dry, mm -hmm. yeah, I'd still be pushing it. I don't know if I'd do it. Definitely wouldn't recommend it. But, man, talk about being able to just pull up, because that's what I love about toy haulers. My son and I love to fish. And you just go up to the lake and just cast. Oh, because yeah. you can back these things up. Sure, you're not like, sometimes you're a little bit over the wall. Right off your back porch. Yeah, right off your back porch. And if I need something, I just go right in and get it. Drink, snack, whatever. And people are down on the shore kind of looking at you like, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I got the high ground. I'm also going to catch more fish than you. Right. But we got a 1,500-pound weight rating on the party deck, right? Yep. Okay. 3,500-pound load rating? On yeah, 3,000-pound load rating 3,000 pounds okay. As a ramp door. Uh, Overall Rugged. cargo carrying capacity in the 2700 is going to be right at about 2,300 pounds. Nice. Yep. So this is the 2021 Forest River Ozark 2700 uh, TH. And if you're looking at this one, starting, now don't, don't yell at me for this because you know during the Ultimate RV Show, we've got to give good prices on this. I, I, I know your livelihood depends on it, but right now <laughs> it's not my main concern. Love you, Eric. <laughs> Starts at $27,995 or as low as $6.92 a day. You can sleep six people in this, 5,700 pounds, roughly dry weight, 32 feet, four inches long. Now, if you say, Chris, Eric, I like this. How do I get it? 
drop us a comment down below, RV or text RV to 46642. We can even have this delivered to you, have all the paperwork taken care of. You don't even have to leave the comfort of your couch or camp chair to have this beautiful toy hauler brought to you. Now, out here on the back, I see we're set up for backup camera prep. I like the diamond plate rock guard that you have here. The magnetic fly net versatility because a lot of toy haulers that I've seen just have the ones that roll up and down. Right. But you still have that big giant ball here or something on the side. And man, if you have a buddy that maybe has a couple drinks in them or something like that and they don't really <laughs> notice that right. it's, uh, wow. the screen is down, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that could be a problem. And boom, the magnet can just come right off. Exactly. A little bit safer. Breakaway magnet there. That's, that's why we kind of pulled this away so Fritz could also make his way through. But at the end of the day, if you need to set it up, you just slap it up as magnetic. Uh, and it gives you the versatility of having either half open or half closed. Mm -hmm. uh, just well thought out, well made, and very well designed. Uh, people have said we want lighter interiors with darker features. So when you guys went with this graphite, uh, uh, this graphite uh, color, loved it because it's dark, it's beautiful, but it's still light. Produces a lot of contrast yeah. uh, compared to the the you know lighter color wallboard there, right. lighter color features on the inside. So we got our solid door here separating the garage from the bathroom. Another thing I liked about what you guys did with this 2700 is you gave me that separation of space. Now mm -hmm. sure, uh, you know if I have my toys in here, you're still gonna have the smells and stuff like that. You got good vents in there. Yep. But with the bathroom coming through, you got a way to clean off before moving into the living area. And you're a little bit taller than me. Yeah, Step look at the, the shower, shower and boom, look, you still got headroom. So, with the skylight, gonna be fine, because we got, what, 81 inches? Uh, 78 inches. 78 inches? Yep. Okay. So, dude, that looks taller than 78. But yeah, with the skylight and everything. Yeah. Now tell me about the AC and the furnace. What do we have inside the Ozarks? So, across the board, in all Ozarks, we have a 13.5K AC unit that is top mounted. In the toys, you'll see here, they are all ducted. And not only ducted, but ducted through the roof. And then the heating is ducted through the cabinets. Uh, that reduces soft spots. Correct, yep. Yeah. No soft spots in your floor, no places for you to hang up, uh, walk in you know, to the bathroom at night. Yeah, less stuff to have to worry about fixing. Yeah, yep. so you know, what, what we're talking about with soft spots is when you're walking through the floor and all of a sudden you feel that, oh, wait a minute. If you have a soft spot or if you have ducting in the floor, sometimes that leads to the floor bowing or breaking. That's a bad, that's an expensive fix too. Yep. So that's Can't actually be. a very nice thought out to put it in the cabinetry there. And look at this beautiful, now it is graphite, right? That is, yeah. Yeah, yep. graphite, the light on the dark, the contrast, the beautiful, I got my frosted glass really makes here. It, pop. it does, and my cabinets, love this man. Plenty of space, flush mounted microwave. I also like how a lot of the manufacturers are flush mounting the three burner cooktop because it gives us more prep space. Yep. Big fan of that, high output front. I got the oven. I talk about this in some of the other videos. You ever bake Shrinky Dinks in an oven? I have not. Do you remember Shrinky Dinks? You know what Shrinky Dinks are? <laughs> I, I can't say I do. Dude, get Shrinky Dinks for the kids. They will absolutely love it. Dinks, on a yeah, rainy day, to. it's a great activity. Yeah, you just draw on the plastic what you want. You pop it in the oven and it shrinks it up. Oh, awesome. Best keychain on the planet, man. Your kid's <laughs> hand is a Shrinky Dink. Good camping activity. Plus, we got the uh, uh, both LP and electric refrigerator here. Mm -hmm. Fridge freezer combo. My entertainment center here, you got the Furion AM FM command center. Now this is the one that I can control from my cell phone too, right? Correct. Yeah. Yep. So if I want to play the music, it's got dual zone. Uh, I could play it both inside and out. I got my cable, my power. I see a lot of the pre-wired for Wi-Fi. Tell me the thought process behind that. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, if 2020 taught us anything, right? right. Connectivity is is definitely a growing trend that was accelerated by right. you know what happened last year. Uh, so yeah, definitely want to make sure that you know you guys have uh, all the tools necessary to be able to work Stay from connected. home or yeah. work from your RV, uh, that kind of thing. Right. So if you sign up for like the WineGuard service, you can get the 4G, the LTE, and the Wi-Fi extension to stay connected while you're on the road. I mean, if, if we're going to go ice fishing. And we know we're gonna be somewhere like maybe at a border lake, mm -hmm. or if we're gonna to go to one of these state parks where there's probably not a tower close by, um, you still wanna have that option of being connected. To me, it's also a safety and security thing. So it's a very nice touch. Now, the 2700TH and the 2700THX both have the U-shaped dinette in the slide, correct? Correct. Love these because of the reconnection spot and the versatility. I mean, think about it. You just came back from big day of 
running the ATVs, maybe kayaking. Oh, yeah. Lat hunting or fishing, because some of the best hunting and fishing in the world is up here. Uh, oh, my God. That's catching. what I've heard. Yeah. yeah. You, you never called a walleye up here? I haven't. Oh, dude, no. we got to take you out, man. Oh, it's, oh, it's it's an experience, <laughs> especially if you do like the little ice fishing. You know, you got that little like one pound test or something like that, and all of a sudden you get like a. I mean, oh, it's, it's beautiful. Um, but this is where you get a chance to disconnect and reconnect. You know, which we really didn't get a chance to do in 2020 because of how everything went down. We didn't get to do the vacations, but people are finding out that with RVs, it's the safest way to see America. And for something like this, starting at $27,995 or as low as $6.92 a day for you to sleep six people. Yep. S less than seven bucks a day. All the, the full-size travel trailer features that you that you've come to expect uh, yeah. for, for a great price point there. And you can get it, and it's your RV, it's your safety, your security, you're taking your home with you wherever you wanna go. Mm -hmm. um, these are comfortable once again. Now, the great thing about these cushions, not only is the, is the design cool, I love the blue stitching, because once again, it just adds yeah. that pop to it, yep. uh, but these are comfortable, plush, and easy to sleep on. This reduces down into a bed, uh, my wife and I, we, we've, we've slept in the booth dinettes and the U-shaped dinettes before, mm -hmm. and you can get two people in there. We always say one, um, but you can get two people in there. Yeah. Uh, and then our queen size bed that we have right here, tell me about this one. So this will be your RV queen with two thirds walk around space there. So you, you do have the option to get out without disturbing your partner on the other side of the bed. Right, I like that. And it's right here nestled in the front cap. You still got a large window there. Mm -hmm. More storage, both up top and the ward. I see I got me yep. some dual zone Oh, I got uh, dual USB charging on both sides. Both sides there. That's a nice touch too. Yes, sir. And we got storage underneath. Yep, so accessible. From the pasture. There. Right. So this is the interior of both the 2700 TH and the 2700 THX. Now the difference, the 2700 TH, aluminum sided, starts at $27,995, <laughs> as low as $6.92 a day, 5,700 pounds dry. Mm -hmm. The THX, Starts at twenty eight nine ninety five, only a thousand bucks more. And what do you say we go take a look at the outside of that one? Because the insides yeah. are pretty much exactly the same. Um, we just want to show you the difference between the aluminum side and the fiberglass side. And uh, so, I've been a big fan of how Forest River makes RVs for a while. You guys got that sustainable manufacturing process where you reduce and reuse, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. kind of really shrinking the carbon footprint, but it also allows you guys to pass along some really good savings, which is why these upgraded feature campers are priced at entry-level pricing, right? Definitely. Yeah. Yep. That's beautiful. Now, here we go. Now, some of the other features you're going to get, John, come here and check this out. Uh, on the entry-level campers, which I hate even calling these entry-level, bro. I know. It's weird. Yeah, you get so much for... Power tongue jacks. Buying. LED light, you get the twin 20s, diamond plated rock guard. Now this is the super flex roof, which is on both the TH and the THX. Fully walkable, good insulation, strong. If you want to trickle charge your battery, you got your 10 amp quick connect for your solar panels right there. But look at this beautiful fiberglass. All right, so tell me a little bit once again about the difference between the fiberglass and the aluminum. Yeah, so with the fiberglass, it is a fiberglass that is double backed uh, by a wood backer there, creating a little bit more uh, R value there on the outside of your RV. Uh, again, letting you dive into that, that deeper three season or four season camping. Right. So since one, so this one starts at $28,995 or as low as $7.17 a day. This beauty right here, the TH, starts at $27,995, or as low as $6.92 a day. So, seven bucks versus seven seventeen. dollars Yeah. 17 cents difference. Right. Either way, you're gonna get gorgeous interiors, gorgeous exteriors. As a matter of fact, here, we got solid steps coming in. The one thing I wanted to ask about that I didn't get a chance to, this is a plush foam mattress, right? It is, yeah. That's a nice upgrade Upgraded. for 2021. Yeah, so why'd you guys decide to go with the foam versus the, those inner coil springs? Uh, yeah, just always looking to improve. Um, of course, uh, people spend a lot of time sleeping yeah. you know, in their, in their <laughs> camping <laughs> adventures Napping. there, so yeah. not, not necessarily <laughs> something that you can really overlook. Right. 
This is, and let me tell you, these foam support mattress, because one of the things I used to tell people all the time was, if you're gonna go camping, get your own mattress. You, can, you know, when you buy your RV, get your own mattress. Now that was, that was just two years ago. Now, I, I've, especially with what you guys have put in these Ozarks, I come in here, because that's usually the first thing I check out. Yeah. I'm just gonna, let's just go check, oh man. <laughs> now you're right on time. And these mattresses are way more comfortable than what we used to put in RVs. Definitely. So that is a very nice touch. But, you know, Fritz, as you can see, you're, between the TH and the THX, you're still gonna get some of the great interior features. Same design, same look, same upgraded amenities, like this beautiful large sink with the drying rack. That is a pot and pan sink right there, my friend. You still get the oven, the three burner cooktop, the gas electric fridge, the single surround shower, the party deck, the whole nine. It's the only difference is one's fiberglass on the side, one's aluminum on the side. <clears throat> and other than that, there's really no big difference, right? Yeah, okay. correct. Yep. So we had talked about at the very beginning <clears throat> how Forest River with the Ozarks, you guys have so many more different floor plans. Um, how many would you say off the top of your head do we have total for the Ozarks as, as we walk over towards the 1700? So uh, right now, as it stands, we have about six. We have a couple more floor plans coming down the pipeline here very shortly. Okay. Yep. See, that's what I like about what we're doing with the Ultimate RV Show National Tour. You call me and you said, Chris, I got one I'm really <laughs> excited about. Um, tease me with that one. So the new floor plan uh, uh -huh. is going to be called the 1680 BSK. Okay. And what that is, it works in parallel with our 1650 BH. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it gives you a slide option there as well. So bunk with the slide. Bunk with the slide, yep. Tons of floor space, yeah. same great amenities, uh, really perfect for uh, that young family potentially that right. is just looking to get into RVing. See, that's what I like about how you guys- It's a great stepping stone into- Yeah, I mean, that's that's absolutely for the family that's ready to dip their toe mm -hmm. in the water. Because we had talked about how some of the smaller ones were boutique couples RVs. Correct. Loved that line because that's exactly yep. what it was. For somebody that's looking for that upgraded camping experience, get off the tent, get off the ground, the Forest River Ozark was a great option to step into the waters. Perfect. Now, I wanted to walk by this because now, if I was doing the 2700 or the 17, and I had this beautiful, you know, 400 UTV right here, I could fit this in either one, right? Yeah, yeah, just about. You think we should just actually like drive one up in there? Or you think we'll get we in trouble for that? It. We should try in there. Yeah. <laughs> you came out get fired again. Yeah. And you know, the great thing about Camping World, Gander, RV, and Outdoors, a lot of people forget about how much stuff we have for your camping experience. We're not only gonna upgrade you with what we have for the RVs, we're gonna upgrade that experience for you hunting and fishing as well because we have all the equipment that you need to put inside your RV when you go. Now, we got a 1700 TH. We also have the 1700 THX. Once again, the only difference being one is aluminum on the side, the other is fiberglass on mm -hmm. the side. Correct. Um, I think Forest River for Ozarks, you guys did a really good job of giving me options. I'm not pigeonholed into picking one and being stuck with, oh, well, it's only aluminum or it's only fiberglass. Yep. Same insulation, same construction. I just have options. That's, That's what, what people want these days. Absolutely. Yeah. So tell Something me a little bit, tell me a little bit about the 1700. So the 1700 here is going to be our single axle toy hauler. Uh, it will have a dry rate, weight of about 3,300 pounds there. I can tell that and with SUV. You're right. Yeah. Uh, and a cargo carrying capacity of about 1,500 pounds. Wow. Okay. So again, with your ATV, motorcycles, kayaks, I mean, everything that you would need to take your family mm -hmm. out on, on a, a weekend adventure. That's beautiful. And we still get diamond plated rock guard, super flex roof. We got the jack, my 20 pound LP tank. I got my scissor jacks for leveling. Mm -hmm. external shower which for me hot cold shower hot cold shower yep. that's huge because mm -hmm. when you go out especially if you're active or if you're, you're like that active couple wants to get out and about you don't want to bring that stuff back in you're gonna need that kids and dogs right <laughs> spray them off before they go in <laughs> adding that's a great feature now this is a single axle mm -hmm. travel trailer and you know with this one only being let's see 21 feet eight inches long um even single axle you're not going to get a lot of that rocking back and forth. No, yeah, yeah definitely not. Because you guys built it, it's still on that same uh, 
single weld aluminum frame, mm -hmm. powder coating on the outside, or the UV protecting coating on the outside, the tough coat, uh, the nitro filled tires, Dexter Easy Loop axles. These are well built RVs. And here's a great part about this one. Once again, don't kill me. <laughs> this is the 1700 TH and the 1700 THX. They start at $17,495 or as low as $4.32 a day. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. Would you, would you pay five bucks a day? I would pay five bucks a day. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. For, for less than $5 a day, you and your family can get out and reconnect in the beautiful outside. Now, we got the adjustable pitch uh, awning here on the arms on the awning. We got the LED light strip underneath my awning, friction hinge door, fold up steps, and let's check out this beautiful garage here. Once again, I see my herringbone pattern. I see my graphite, the light on dark. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the layout and the design in here while I sit down. So again, you're gonna have the same 1,500 pound rated D-rings there. Mm -hmm. uh, plenty of storage space in your pantry up here. Here you have a little nook for uh, any kind of storage totes, uh, toolbox, that kind of stuff. That's a good spot for boots. Boots as well. Yeah, fishing gear, boots, and stuff like that. Plus, I got my USB charging ports over there. Mm -hmm. uh, the other thing that we didn't get a chance to touch on, every one of the toys come with these, don't they? Every single axle is going to come with a Bluetooth waterproof stereo system. There. A Boss stereo system. So these are great because, A, you don't have to go out and get it separate, but you can hang it inside, you can hang it outside, or- Take it down the beach. Throw it, throw it in your backpack out and take the it out the ice hut. <laughs> yeah. And these things thump, man. They make some good noise. Now, I, I really like the reconnection space here. I see this can be either a bunk. Yeah, oh, this is comfortable too. Or you can do like my kid and just take the cushion and lay on the floor and sleep on that. That's, I mean, <laughs> look, he, he is his dad's son. Tell me about the AC and the heater that we have in this beauty as well. Yep, so in, in all Ozarks, you're gonna have the 13.5K top-mounted AC unit there, mm -hmm. and then a 20,000K BTU heating element as well. Plenty right. of That's heating and cooling for something this size. Yes, yeah, so if I wanna go three season camping, I absolutely can. Now. Yep. Got me some storage back here. The thing I always tell people about RVs, because I used to get yelled at, uh, I would say, oh, this is a good spot for your hunting gear, your fishing gear, your toolboxes, your mm -hmm. tackle. And people say, no, that's pantry, that's where you put the food. If I'm paying for the RV, right. or if you're paying for the <laughs> RV, you want to put your kids' coloring books in there. It's your RV, you can do with it what you want. Yep. The versatility, and it's not like it was, you know, even five or six years ago. So many upgraded features, upgraded heating and cooling, upgraded insulation, upgraded amenities. I mean, just take a look at this fridge. Holy crap, this, this thing is huge. Fridge freezer combo, runs on both gas and electric. There's my switch right here. You got the options to change it. And Norcold makes a great RV fridge. Flat panel, I got my bathroom in here. Once again, with that single surround shower. Fritz, let's see if you can come by so you can check this out. And this one, this is the 1700 TH starting at $17,495 or as low as $4.32 a day. Even with this one being only 21 feet, 8 inches long, I'm not cramped on the bowl. Or when I get in the shower, plenty of headroom. I'm not cramped here. Got the single surround with that herringbone pattern. I love how you guys had that match the flooring. Uh, and the flooring, this is that slip resistant um, laminate, yeah. right? You can feel that it's got that texture to it. Yeah. Easy to clean, easy to sweep. And then right up here, I got my main living area with a bunk. Very nice. So if I got the kids or the dogs with me, I could put them up here. Got a storage shelf, USB charging port, dual USB charging port down here, and that foam top mattress. Tell me about this layout, because I know you guys are, you're changing you got a new version of the 1700 coming out, is that right? Yes, we do. Tell me a little bit about that one. So the uh, the predecessor to this particular floor plan is what we call the 1900 TH. Okay. Now what is going to make it special is it is actually going to be tandem axle right around the same weight point. Really? A larger garage, a better bathroom or bedroom layout, better bathroom layout. Right. Uh, going for a more private bedroom there. Right. A uh, larger uh, footprint for the bathroom. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, yeah, with the ability to 
haul a two passenger side by side. Nice. How, how long is it going to be roughly? It's going to be right around 23 feet. So not too much longer than this. 23 feet and tandem axle? And tandem axle. That's nice. That's a really good little upgrade for safety driving down the road. Yep. Plus it's going to be lightweight. So I could probably still tow it with the SUV. Yeah, that's that's the idea there. Nice. Still wanting to market towards that midsize SUV. Nice. I love it. You know, this is every year Tip of the hat, by the way, to, to you and the design team. You guys every year come out with just something a little bit better than what you did the year before. And it, it's not that it needed to improve, but I like how you're always striving to make things better, make things easier. And I assume that you're listening to what customers are saying about what they need. Is that why you're making those design changes? Absolutely. Uh, between all the feedback that we get, uh, that's, that's really the basis for our decision making. That's beautiful. Let me tell you, that, that, that's why I'm, I'm a big fan of Forest River and the Forest River Ozark line. Big fan of Eric, too. Um, the first time we ran into each other at the Tampa show, and I saw the Ozarks, and they were launching at Gander RV and Outdoors. I was like, wow, this is, this is something that's really going to work well for us. So if you're looking for toy hauler, bunk, single axle, double axle, if you're looking for a couples coach, if you're looking for a family coach, look no further than the Forest River Ozark line, especially if you've been tent camping, you want that upgraded camping experience at entry level price. We got over 80,000 factory fresh RVs coming. You can see the entire Ozark line online. Just drop us a comment down below, fresh, or text fresh to 46642. We have people standing by that will walk you through virtually any Ozark that you wanna see. They'll even send you the paperwork, let you talk to finance people, and they'll deliver that RV to you. Now, if you say, Chris, I got something that's not as nice as the Ozark. I want to trade it in. No problem. We'll pick it up and take it back. You don't even have to worry about that. So before we go here talking about the Forest River Ozarks, mm -hmm. tell me again about some of the exciting ones we have coming up that are going to be brand spanking new during the Ultimate RV Show National Tour. So we touched on it a little bit there with the 1680 yeah. BSK. So that is going to have your double over double bunks there. Huge slide with an L Chase lounge setup oh, in it. Love a Murphy the bed. lounge thing. Yes. yes, I love that, yeah. It will have all of them come standard with an outside kitchen. So griddle and mini reefer there as well. Wow. Really looking to offer the, the customer a turnkey solution for you know potentially their first RV. Right, and hit me again with the other one that's, re that's replacing the 1700. And then you'll have the 1900 there, 1900. which is it's going to be tandem axle. It'll be uh, more oriented around the private bedroom up front there, mm -hmm. a larger bathroom, and above all else, a large garage space. Large enough for something that size right. to pull a uh, two-passenger side-by-side. I love it. So here's the deal. If you're interested in anything like that, that's what's great about the Forest River Ozark line. Versatility, options, but upgraded features at a downgraded price. Drop us a comment down below, fresh, or text fresh to 46642. Now, if you're interested in the 2700 THX, or the 2700 TH, or the 1700s, you're talking about prices starting between $7.17 a day down to less than $5 a day. For you to get out and see America the safest way possible in your own RV. And that's what the Ultimate RV Show National Tour is all about, helping you fulfill those dreams to get your family out and about. Eric Farber, Forest River Ozark, Thank, Thank you, brother. Again, Chris. It's good seeing you. Yeah. Ultimate RV Show National Tour continues with more next. With the Camping World Best Price Guarantee, we'll beat any competitor price by $500 guaranteed or write you a check for $1,000. I will never lose a deal over price, ever, and I guarantee it. Learn more today at CampingWorld.com. Hey guys, I'm Zach Phillips. And I'm Mary O'Neill Phillips, and this is Forrest Gump, and we're from Country Outdoors. We film an adventure tour on the Outdoor Channel, and we use the camper for our home base. We've had so much fun over the last year, in and out of hunting camps, fishing, hunting turkeys, hunting deer, playing with our dog, and guess what? We have some RV pro tips just for you. These are our RV pro tips for everything that you need to know as a first time RVer. My pro tips come from a place of learning from doing things the hard way. So one of my biggest tips is utilize the resources at Camping World. Talk to the sales associates, listen, and learn. 
Because when I went there, I was stubborn and I said, I got this, I'm fine. And when I left, I learned that I didn't always have this and I made a couple mistakes. So use the resources there, they're very helpful and they can walk you through anything that you need help with. There's all these caution labels on the outside that help you know what you're doing. Read those. One time I put a water hose in the septic tank thinking it was the fresh water tank. I flooded the camper. You don't want that to happen. So read the labels and read your instructions. One of my biggest tips is to make sure that you put everything that you have away before you get on the road. Things rattle around and move around and you don't want to break any of your valuables. I had the awful experience of bringing some of my crystal wedding glasses the first time we went on the road and they smashed. So after that I went into Camping World and I bought all of the plastic kitchenware that they sell and I've never had that problem again. When you're shopping for your RV, go to the location and look at a lot of campers. They all have different layouts, they all have different functionality and just look through them, spend some time looking at them and see what works for your needs and what you want. You don't want to be stuck with one that you don't like. So if you're going to do it, make sure it has all the features that you need and want. Our first RV that we purchased was not a toy hauler and I wish I would have known how effective they are for our purposes and started there. And if you are into the outdoors and you love power sports, I would definitely look at a toy hauler uh, and it doubles as a garage. We treat ours just like it's the garage at home. You can throw stuff in there and it's a lot more durable. You won't mess up your finishings and it's really helpful for me. Get yourself some outdoor mats and chairs. It's a great way to extend your living quarters and give you some space to hang out. You can also make it look really nice and cozy out there and I absolutely love to decorate the outside as much as I do the inside. These campers are built with a ton of storage, so take a look at it and utilize them properly. I have a ton of camera gear when I'm on the road and I need to keep this place as decluttered as possible so my wife's not yelling at me. So use the storage. Most of them have a ton of good storage spots. Some things that first timers might forget to do when setting up camp would be to put the jacks down. You do need to do that, especially if you're somewhere like here in Kansas where it's 50 mile an hour winds or you're going to have a very rocky sleep. Also, it's super important to remember your wheel chocks. Uh, unhooking your truck from the camper and not having wheel chocks and then seeing your camper roll away, not a good thing. One of the most important pieces of equipment we have on our campers are generator. We spend a lot of time in the middle of nowhere and having power so that our lights work and we have heat is huge. Also, make sure you have enough propane. Pack extra propane because it gets pretty cold here in Kansas and three nights ago, I forgot to get propane. Woke up and it was 35 degrees inside the camper and you do not want that. I would highly recommend looking into backup cameras for your camper. On the very first day that we got our camper, we were at a gas station and I turned a little too wide and put a little bit of a yellow stamp on the back of it. So I would definitely look at a backup camera or be a better driver, one of the two. A few of my tips for first timers that are traveling with their pets would be to buy a storage container for your pet food that you can keep it in so that it doesn't fall around and it also doesn't go stale. Another one would be to bring shampoo and conditioner and to take your dog outside and use the outdoor hose to wash them so that you don't clog up any of the pipes inside the camper. And my final one would be to bring a leash because if you're staying in one of the campgrounds, you often have to keep your dog on a leash when you walk them around. We prepared for our first time RV trip by going to Camping World and buying absolutely everything that you could possibly buy for your camper. It actually helped us and saved us a lot of time down the road. Having all of the, I mean, from kitchen goods, to toilet roll holders, to bedding, to dog bowls, we got it all and set ourselves up properly the first time around. For our first trip, we went to Camping World and I actually had a sales associate come with me and show me all the things that I didn't know I needed. We bought a ton of stuff from the generator, the sewer hoses, all things that I didn't necessarily know that we needed. We got it all there in one spot and we had it and saved us a lot of time in the long run. But one of the great things is there are camping worlds all over the country. So if we ever find that we didn't have something like the cast iron pots that I just bought, which is a special treat, you can go to another camping world store. We've only been RVing for a little under a year now. And one thing I would say is just don't be intimidated by it. Uh, when you first look at an RV, I, I can see how it would be intimidating, but Camping World has tons of resources available and great staff that you can talk to. Uh, if we could figure it out, I think most people probably can and just go to your store talk to somebody and it is for everybody hopefully our tips are going to help you get started on your rv journey and be sure to check out camping world's other influencers for rv pro tips to take your rv knowledge to the next level all right
Let's go hunting. It is time. Sooner or later, everyone's bound to encounter someone in need. If you're one of the stopping kind, chances are it was passed down. Hey, Mom. Some good that you observed from early on. Call it going the extra mile or paying it forward. We just call it being good. Spend a lifetime doing good. Thank you. Because the next generation is watching.